So, travel vlog. It's Friday and I'm finally allowed to go back home again from Tirol, Tyrol to Vienna. I've already heard in the news that there is a long traffic jam at the border controls. We will see if this is true and I will have to stand for 20 minutes in traffic jam. Keep our fingers crossed, let's hold our thumbs as we say in Austria, that it's not the case. We will see. So, five kilometers before the border and there is the traffic jam. So, let's form a emergency corridor alone. I don't know if the emergency corridor is supposed to be like this. So, coming finally closer to the border controls. Already entered Germany and there is they are dividing up the lines and 10 kilometers per hour maximum speed. Oh, come on. So, let's go. Totally senseless. It's one of the most ridiculous things politicians have ever put in place. The green border is free, you walk over it. You go over the normal roads, no control, free for everybody. On the highway, controls, traffic jams. What for? It's not because of the refugees, because the refugees can walk over the border. The refugees can if they want and have a car, go over all the other roads. So it's not for the refugee crisis. Why is it? Why do we have to stand 20 minutes in traffic jam here? I don't understand it. But yeah, now in Germany, let's go as fast as we want to. No, I'm driving 100 kilometers per hour. Yoo And the next traffic jam. Let's form an emergency corridor. And we're back in Austria. And traffic jam. Let's form an emergency corridor. So 
today I had a really interesting discussion in school with one student. I don't know how we came to this point, but she said a sentence which I totally didn't agree with. And she said something like, moral can never be above the law. And I was like, well, I don't know exactly what you mean, but I would say totally the opposite. Moral has to be always above the law. And it was kind of interesting because we didn't really, I don't know, understand each other. Uh, we didn't go much into de uh, depth, depth into, into detail because um, there was not em enough time then to discuss this topic and it's obviously a phil philosophical discussion and not a discussion about, I don't know, monetary systems. But it was very, very interesting for me, I think. And it reminded me why I've studied philosophy and I, I find it cool that they in school talk about such things actually because then she told me yeah they were talking in philosophy about those things and I thought whoa cool good that they do those things in school uh, so can moral be above the law or should it, or should it be well I think it depends on how you define moral if you say moral is something like I don't know like cultural behavior or like certain norms then I understand her because when you say okay morals like religious morals like I don't know when Islamic uh, people think that their moral should be above the law then this is a serious issue I would say or not only Islamic but also Christian or so on um, so if certain like group behaviors are above the law or they think they are above the law then this is of course a problem but on the other hand when you talk about individual moral like your own moral feelings also of course if you are I don't know a killer you're acting according to your moral code which says killing is good obviously and this should also be punished by law of course but there are many, many, many occasions where your morals should be above the law, I would say. Because what is law is not always right. And what's doing right is not always the law. Like in many occasions, it's not the case. So, I mean, the obvious example is during the Third Reich, uh, under Hitler, it was totally lawful to I don't know kill certain groups of people but it wasn't right so and I think today we still have some things where the law is not right and where you are even obliged to maybe not break the law but don't act according to the law so it's a difficult question should moral be above the law or under the law for me personally definitely I would say it's something you always have to look your own morals and the law and if the law is not good you should also don't uh, be supposed to act according to the law wo recht zu unrecht wird wird widerstand zur pflicht uh, goes the famous saying and we've entered Upper Austria finally. Woohoo! Oh, starting getting tired. Uh, two more hours. Ugh.